radio so it's still going to be the same image but if we let go of left shift it is going to be all over the place so make sure to just hold left shift and that is basically how to resize this image so let's say that you want to resize an image and that you want to say like okay i don't want the end of this roots to be in the frame what you can do is you can hold left shift <laughs> What's happening guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop tutorial and in this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how to rotate images. Now first of all, I want to mention that it is so incredibly hot right here in Belgium. It is freaking over 31 degrees Celsius, it is so freaking hot, but I just said like, yo, I still want to record and show you guys an awesome Photoshop tutorial, so make sure to smash the like button down below for more videos and I will say let's get started. So as you can see right now, we have a picture in Photoshop and first of all, I'm going to show you guys how to resize those so as you, without losing quality also so what we're gonna do first of all is we're gonna make sure that we have selected the uh, the layer of our picture that we want to resize then what we're gonna do is we're gonna press ctrl T and as you can see our lines are starting to appear what we can do is we can drag those images smaller or bigger but as you guys can see we'll we will start losing the aspect radio because we want to hold uh, left shift and once we drag those uh, you know, up and down, we won't lose any quality and as you can see, lose any uh, aspect ratio. So it's still gonna be the same image, but if we let go of left shift, it is gonna be all over the place. So make sure to just hold left shift and that is basically how to resize this image. So let's say that you want to resize an image and that you want to say like, okay, I don't want the end of this woods to be in the frame. What you can do is you can hold left shift, you can drag it bigger and bigger, and now you can only have, as you can see, trees right here. You can make it even bigger and bigger and bigger. So this is basically how to resize this image. Now you can also press Control Z so we can go back a little. What we're gonna do is we can also mirror this image. So what we're gonna do, first of all, it's really handy that we have 1920 by 1080 resolution we're gonna just drag this guy to the uh, left and drag the other side to the right as you can see so if we do that and drag this guy to the left as you can see we have a mirrored image of this photo that i just you know dragged in in Ve in photoshop rather uh of this woods so you can you can you can even turn it upside down as you can see uh, there are so many different ways you can actually resize an image. So it is that simple, guys. So if, as you can see, when we click on the check mark, we have an upside down image. We can also make it just uh, just like like normal, how it should be like this, as you can see. So this is basically how to do it, guys. This is how you cr uh, rotate images in Photoshop. It is really simple and you just want to press Control T and then you actually, uh, so you can actually uh, rotate images just how you want them. You can crop them, you can resize them, you can make them bigger. So this is how to do it, guys. I wanna thank you for watching. That is it for today. I hope to see you guys tomorrow for a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial that, uh, that where I'm gonna show you guys the scribble effect. You know, that's like when, it's, when, when like a music song, music video is playing we can have like uh, all kinds of scribbles around the artist so make sure to stay tuned for that check your sub box tomorrow at 1 p.m pst so i want to thank you for watching make sure to smash the like button like i said and i would say i'll catch you guys tomorrow just alex helford